Hello everyone， 大家好。Today what we are going to learn? Yes, look at my hair. You see the difference? Yes, it is. Today I take up my hair, right? So what we are going to learn today? Today we learn haircut. How to say it in Chinese? Li fa. Okay, li fa. It's the haircut. So how to do the haircut? In China, and how you talk to the people, and what kind of hair you want. That is, you say, oh, it's very difficult. I don't, I don't do the haircut in China. Yes, you can, but if you like, you come to China for working a year. Are you sure you don't want to do the haircut in China? Yes, you have to be. All right. So how to do it, and how to talk to the people over there? Because normally. The the place that do the haircut, the people are and able to speak English. So how to talk to them? Are you only body language? No, have to talk something, right? So how to say it? today? We will learn. First, we will learn some vocabularies. So it's a basic vocabularies that when you are in the hairdress shop and you can talk, right? So. Hair, hair is 头发，头发，头发 is hair. Okay, hair is 头发 and cut, cut is 剪，剪，剪 cut. The scissor we say 剪刀 so the cut is 剪，剪 yes. Hair 头发 cut 剪 hairstyle is 发型发。发型 is a 型 is a style. So perm, 烫发，烫发，烫发 right? You want a curly or something? Is it 烫发 Short hair, short hair like me or even shorter than me is 短发短 is short. 短发短发 So dye hair, dye hair, uh. Such as especially in China, and the people like dye to like a、uh, bronze. Yes. So how to how to say dye hair in Chinese is 染发 Yes. Everything, every word behind is 发 So dye hair is 染发 I want dye my hair to yellow. How to say it? 我想染黄头发 Yes. 黄 is yellow. So Dark hair is 染发 so long hair, longer, uh, longer than shoulder or even longer. Yes, is 长长 is long, 长发长发 is longer hair. So this is the general word vocabularies that you can use in the hairdress shop. Okay, let me review one more time. 头发剪发型，烫发，短发，染发，长发。Yes, very good. So after we know those vocabularies, we are going to learn how to say it in Chinese. How to say a sentence? Okay. Yes, here we are. First. That when you come to the shop and you perhaps that you didn't see anyone or you come too earlier or too late, how to ask? Are you open? You have to ask the people, right? So how to ask? Are you open? Yes. Are you open now? Yes. 你们 is you is mean many people. You only a、uh, single is 你 but with many people they will say 你们你们 Now is 现在，你们现在 open 开门，开门 ，right 开门吗？你们现在开门吗 ？Yes, that is. Are you open now? Okay, 你们现在开门吗 ？But if you say 你们现在开门吗 ？I think if you talk that one to me, I feel a little bit strange. And something like, are you open the door now? <laughs> Right? They will confuse. So please listen if I speak this sentence by naturally. Okay? 
？你们现在开门吗？你们现在开门吗 ？You see, you see the difference. I repeat one more time by the sentence. OK， 你们现在开门吗？你们现在开门吗 ？And I speak naturally. 你们现在开门吗 ？See the difference? Yes, very good. And so, why you ask them? Why? Yes, because I want to do haircut. I want to do haircut. Yes, how to say? Wow, I want to do haircut so long, but in Chinese it's so short, right? Haircut is 理发 So I want. 我想 right? We learn many times. 我想理发 Very easy, right? So I want to haircut. 我想理发 Okay, let me combine these two sentences. Okay. 你们现在开门吗？我想理发。Yes, see it? Yes, very good. So, and after that, you come to the shop, and then they will ask you, "What style do you want to cut?" Right? Of course. Why? What? What do you want from us? Yes. So, how to say? Wow, very, very long. Why? There are two kind of sentences that you can speak out, and you can choose one which is easier for you. Okay. Please listen carefully. Okay, you can choose by yourself. Okay, 你想剪个什么发型？你想剪个什么发型？行，什么发型 ？Yes, let me speak. 你想剪个什么发型 ？Yes, this is one. The other one. 你想理个什么头型？头 is a hat. 你想理个什么头型？理个和剪个 is the same. It's a haircut. So, 你想理个什么头型？你想剪个什么发型 ？Which one is easier? You can choose. But for me, both are all right. And for for the people in the hairdress shop, both they can understand. Okay. So try to remember and try to choose one that you think is easier for you to pronounce. Okay. Okay. Very good. So when you answer, you will say, "I want to cut short." Yes, normally because that the foreigners they in China first that you don't know how to say the complete complicated word, right? So you normally just cut short or or do some basic treatment. So how to say cut short? 我想剪短 We did say short hair is 短 right? Cut short. So 我想剪短发 Right, haircut. 我想剪剪 is cut. 短发短发 is short hair. 我想剪短发 Yes, very good. Or and they say I want to perm 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 my hair. I want to perm my hair. I say 我想剪我想没有 No, there isn't. 我想烫发 Unless Because that is not cut hair, right? That is just perm your hair. So, 我想烫发 okay? And then, 我想染发 dye your hair, right? 我想染发 okay? 我想染发 So, please, what they say after? <clears throat> please take a look this book because sometimes you say, okay, I want to do the hair cut short. I want to cut my hair short. But you don't know exactly what short hair you want, so they will suggest you a book, and they will let you to watch a book and to take a look. What is that? Okay, so please take a look at this book, and you can choose one. You can choose one style, and they will cut for you. So please take a look at this book. You can choose one. Okay, so how to say please? Please is a 请看一下。请看一下这本书。Book is a 书。请看一下这本书。And choose is a 选。选一个发型。Yes, 选 is choose。一个 is one。选一个发型。Very good. Very long, right? So we can select it. We can select. We can select, and then we speak. Okay. 请看一下这本书。This book is 这本书。Yes, 书 is book. 请看一下这本书
，选一个发型，选 choose。请看一下这本书，选一个发型。Yes. Wow, so long. After you make sure what kind of hairstyle you want, so and it starts to cut hair for you. So how how to cut it? And what is the first step for that? Yes, they will ask you, right? What is the next that we are that they are going to do after you choose the hair, after you choose the hairstyle, right? What is the next? What is the next? So what is the next after you choose? Yes, that is washing your hair. They will ask you go to washing your hair. And this way, please. They will say, uh, please washing your hair this way, please. And they will help you to wash. So how to say it? One more time. This one, you don't need to speak, but you have to understand. Okay, you have to listen, right? So I will tell you how they say it. Is it? 先洗个头 it means that wash your. 先洗个头，这边请 this way please. So 先洗个头，这边请，这边请 yes. 对，先洗个头吧，这边请 yes. They ask you to do washing your hair, right? And when they wash your hair, they will ask you, is the temperature suitable or right? Is the te temperature all right? Or they will or possible? Is the temperature hot? Or is temperature cold? Yes. How to say it? Shui Wen is the temperature, water temperature. Shui Wen, 合适吗 It means that all right. 合适 is mean like suitable with you or not. Yes. Shui Wen, 合适吗 Yes. And hot is 热 cold is 凉 Okay. So Shui Wen, 合适吗 Shui Wen, 热吗 Shui Wen, 凉吗 Yes. 热吗？凉吗 ？Yes. 水温合适吗？水温热吗？水温凉吗 ？Yes. And what do you have to say? If it's alright, you say it's okay. How to say it? 合适 right? Just call it 合适 right? And or if it's hot, you say 热了热了热了热了 It means so hot. And or if it's so cold, you say 凉了凉了 Yes, they will know. Okay, that is a code. Okay, so let let we repeat the two sentences one more time. Okay, that is. 先洗个头吧，先洗个头，这边请。Yes, okay. 水温合适吗？水温热吗？水温凉吗？合适，热了，凉了。Yes, remember. This is answer that you have to answer, right? So it's easy, short, right? Yes. <clears throat> Just remember, hot, cold, 热，冷 or suitable. What is that? Fix. Yes. That is 合适 Okay. 合适 Yes. So after they washing your hair and they do the haircut for you, and after everything, and they will yes, they, it's finished. Please take a look. They will ask you to look at the mirror. It, please take a look. So, how to say? 理好了，理好了 It means that finish cutting already. 理好了，你看一下吧，你看一下 Yes, 你看一下 They ask you to take a look the mirror. Okay. So how to say? 理好了，你看一下 Yeah. So, and what you have to say after you look? Probably okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Just fix my requirement. Yes, or very good. Yes. So how to say? It's okay. 可以 In this in this situation, it's okay. It means 可以 right? So 可以谢谢 right? Thanks is 谢谢 Very good. 很挺好挺好挺好谢谢 Yes. 可以谢谢挺好谢谢 Yes. What is next? And of course after. Finish hair cutting, and you have to pay, right? So once again about the numbers, I don't repeat here anymore because we have learned many times. So if you want to learn about numbers, please watching my video that is about the number. Okay, so you can review it by yourself. So what we are going to say over here? Where do I pay? How to say? Remember, 哪里付款 Yes. 
，哪里付款 ？Yes， 付款 is pay。哪里 is where。So， 哪里付款 ？Yes， and they will say reception， please。Reception, yes. In the hairdress, they also have reception. So, reception, please. How say reception? We learn this word in the hotel, right? So, reception is 前台 yes. 前台付款 yes. They where? 哪里付款 You say 前台付款 or they just say 前台 yes. If they just say 前台 it means that you have to go there, right? So, very easy, very simple. <coughs> Come again. So this way, they also ask you which method, which payment method will you do? Do you remember what we learned last time? Yes, about the hospital make the payment, right? Yes. 怎么付款？好，来，怎么付款 ？We just fast review one more time. Okay. 怎么付款 ？Yes. 现金，现金，银行卡。Or, 或者是在线支付 right? 现金，银行卡或者在线支付啊、ah, yes, 微信 WeChat, right? 支付宝，支付 right? Alipay, 支付宝，支付 You can choose one of those, right? Yes, and the next is show you the QR code. 请出示二维码。This is a QR code. 二维码。Yes. Swipe your QR code. 扫一下二维码。Yes. Swipe. 扫一下二维码。Yes. This is very easy. And we did learn when we was learning the hospital, right? So now you know the payment. And the especially the online payment is very important in China, also very popular in China. So if you want to come to China and don't take a lot of cash, okay, you just install one of the payment tools, and then you can go everywhere in China. So you just learn these last two pages, and you can make a payment by yourself without talking a lot about the numbers. Okay, so thank you. For watching my video today, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell under. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.